Bonjour from Paris. If you watch my videos, you would know that I usually don't show any touristic spots or give any advice on how to travel. But in fact, I go around the city, meet people and see places away from all these touristic spots. Let's begin our adventures around Paris and let's see who we can meet and what we can find. C'est pour quoi Pour monter des meubles. Pour déménager Ouais. Ah Parce que c'est difficile pour euh, prendre la chose euh, dans l'escalade. Ouais. Ah ok, c'est une bonne bien. idée. <rire> c'est combien pour ce, cette service Ça dépend. Ça dépend donc euh, pour... Euh, du, la quantité de colis. Euh, pour là, de plein truc, combien C'est 2300, 2400. 2000 Vous pressez une button pour... Ok, merci beaucoup. Bon, bonne journée. Whenever people come to Paris, they usually go to see Mona Lisa in the Museum Louvre. But look where I ended up in this swarm of beautiful paintings. Let's go check it out. Namaste. En espagnol, namaste, ça veut dire il n'y a plus de thé. There is any <laughs> chai anymore. Are you from Spain? Yes. Ah, okay. Today, yes. Okay. <laughs> Yesterday, I was from uh, Australia. <laughs> nice. Nice. It changes every day. Yeah. Because uh, today it's uh, Sunday. Okay. Spanish Sunday. So you feel like you're in Spain? Yes. <laughs> Uh, it's not me to decide. When people ask me always, uh, where do you come from? And I say, tell me, and they say, they said Spain. I say, okay, today I'm from Spain. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, I don't speak anymore Hindi. You used to speak before, Hindi? I was an uh, Indian, <laughs> but it was uh, three weeks now. I, <laughs> just now you I forgot speak. Hindi. <laughs> dun, 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 regardez là. Ah, amis. you're drawing her? Uh, yes. Yes. Ah, okay. As a chameleon woman, semi-human, <laughs> semi-bird. <laughs> How long have you been doing painting? Uh, too much time. In this place, 20 years. I'm one of the founders of the place. Ah, okay. It was uh, abandoned and we stole it for make uh, something different. Okay. A souvenir. It's really beautiful here. Thank you. The uh, the painting is really good. focus. <laughs> Euh, C'est moi le focus. Enfin, sans faux, j'ai de mots. Sans faux cul, bien sûr. Merci. Bam Et Normalement, vous allez voir deux visages familiers <laughs> dans ma chapelle sexy. Can I see? What's it? A masterpiece of the photo. Yeah, just try it, sir. Ah, through the yeah. glass up. Yeah. Through the glass up. Wow. So if you ever are in Paris, go beyond just visiting the usual Mona Lisa and come to this place here where you have some really fantastic art by some really talented people. So I had just been walking along the streets and someone told me that there's a symmetry around here that I really need to check out. So let's go and see what's special about this symmetry. Let's go. As you can see, I'm coming right underground in search of the symmetries. And it's really, really deep from the ground above. Let's go and check it out, the symmetries. 
my head is already spinning going up down the staircase. So here is the story of this underground cemetery. Back in the 1700s, there was this huge cemetery right in the center of Paris. But as time went on, this cemetery started getting overfilled and posed as a health concern for the citizens of Paris. As the cemeteries in the center of Paris were getting overfilled, the authorities at that time decided to move the bodies in these underground areas. These bodies were moved during the night time so that people and the church do not complain about moving of these bodies from the cemetery to these underground places here. Around bodies of 6 million people were moved to these underground places and you can see bones of people are stacked one above the other along with skulls in some places and as you can see the height of this underground place is not very high i can hardly stand straight here i have to bend my knees so i don't go through this through the ceiling so that was the end of my underground symmetry experience uh, what a scary scary experience it was and uh, but i learned a lot of things by the way i was reminded that we as human beings are not immortal all of us are going to die one day and therefore we need to make use of our time on this beautiful planet to the fullest so no matter how great you think of yourself or no matter how much wealth you ac accumulated over your lifetime at the end of the day we all are going to have the same faith dead so basically i feel we need to be kind and loving to ourselves so as a result of being kind and loving to ourselves ultimately we are going to be kind and loving to people around us and if we cannot really do this i think it's a waste of a lifetime Looks like Indians are taking over Paris. If you don't believe me, then just watch on this one street. Sangeeta restaurant, which looks like an Indian restaurant. Hey, so this one, this is Talapakati. Talapakati? Yeah, this is Talapakati. This is uh, Indian? Yeah, this is Indian Talapakati. Yeah, so another second restaurant Hi. on the street, which is Indian. <laughs> Bye. 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 A mobile shop which is obviously owned by an Indian. Pawan Sasra. Has to be an Indian. Let's go further down the street here. This restaurant. I don't know what it says, but it's surely Indian writing. Sravana Another Indian restaurant, best of India. <laughs> we go further down the street. Not to forget Chennai Dosa. So basically every shop here on the street belongs to an Indian. Of course there are 1.3 billion of us. Since I'm already on a street with a lot of Indian restaurants, I might as well go and try some Indian dish here in Paris. <laughs> Maybe I try the Chennai dosa. Is it open? Yes, please. Can I film? Yeah. Film? Yeah. I just ordered some food as well. I ordered some food as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, like a vlog. Sorry? Don't take a vlog. Like a vlog. Yeah, I, I do videos on YouTube. Okay, sure. <laughs> Thank you. It's messy. Your cook is from Chennai? Yeah. Ah, okay. So you'll make real uh, South, Indian. South yeah. Indian food. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, spicy? Yeah. I would love spicy, please. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> what is it? Karikuri. Karikuri? Ah, okay. It's like a spice or? No. The city is only made for... People are very, what they will tell you, very expert in food making. Ah, okay, your chef is from there. From the so I'm gonna eat the best food from yes, Chennai. I think so. <laughs> That's your 
And that's your God? Can I see? What's that? Which one? This one? It's your God? No. Do you do like uh, prayers Puja. and stuff? Puja still, Puja the morning and evening. Uh, morning and evening? Okay. Thank you. Bon appetit. Merci. Here's my masala dosa with some chutneys and some sambar. Really good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> like perfect, real perfect South Indian food. Mm -hmm. So the French people love <laughs> the people South like Indian food. Lot of spicy customers. Yeah. We won't give spicy. If okay. People uh, demand spicy only. We used to give spicy. Mm -hmm. Because French people won't give more spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You could see from the plate how good the food was. Completely done. Can I have the bill, please? Yes, ma'am. Thanks. So what's your blog name? It's uh, Indian Croy. I will write to you. So that's total 10 euros for a masala dosa and a Fanta. It's not bad price for the quality of food. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah. nice you to can meet you. check okay. your rest check your restaurant on my video. Okay. I will put it on YouTube. What is this channel? I gave him the channel. Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Really nice people and really good food here. So in the end, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and see you in the next one.